Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to show you how much muscle every single rep addition adds. Before I get into this topic, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you need coaching, it's what I do for a living. I would love to help. Please check out the link down below. All right, so I'm going to minimize myself here so we can take a look at my handy dandy little spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet I put together that basically shows you how much every single rep addition will add as far as muscle mass. Over here, you can see the total in the little yellow box. And for an example, we have put together four exercises for chest, for back, shoulders, legs, and four exercises for arms. Now, I want to stress that just this is just a generalization. It's not meant to be ultra precise. I put this together to kind of show you guys in a general sense how much every rep addition will add as far as muscle mass. So I hope it gives you more of a bigger picture look at how important it is to progressively overload over time. Now, I want to stress that we're looking at hard training. Progressive overload is the fruit of hard training. And we're not chasing strength for the sake of strength. You go into the gym, you're trying to train hard, you're trying to beat the logbook, you're trying to get the most out of every set, and the rep additions are the fruit of this process. All right, so let's take a look at the spreadsheet. We have our bench press, our dumbbell bench, machine chest, pec deck, etc. Dumbbell row, deadlift, lat pull downs, pull ups, seated rows, etc. This right here is a progression indicator. We're moving from 5% strength increase to about 100%. So at the end of the road, we're going to be at about 100% for each of these exercises. Let's say you're moving your bench press from 135 by 5 to 315 by 5. Maybe your dumbbell bench from 35s by 10 to 100s by 10. And wherever I have big here, we're generally going to have an equivalent big weight relative to like our bench and our dumbbell bench. For dumbbell row, we set a top level about 150s by 10, deadlift 500 by 5, and pull-ups about 60 pounds by 10. Now, again, these are all arbitrary. They're not magic. I'm not saying if you get to these levels, you're going to have an incredible amount of mass, or these are the ultimate levels that will guarantee a certain amount of mass. They are reasonable placeholders for the sake of this video to give you an idea of how much each rep addition adds. Now, when you're moving on the bench press from 5% strength increase all the way up to 100% strength increase, or moving, say, from 135 by 5 to 315 by 5, you're adding 180 pounds, basically, to your bench press. This is going to be on your top set. The way to look at things is every rep addition you add to your top set on bench press, you're going to add about five, six, or even seven pounds to your max. So if you're looking at moving up 180 pounds on your bench press or moving from 5% to 100% strength increase, we're looking at gaining about 180 pounds, and we have 20 blocks here, each block making up about 5%. So 180 pounds divided by 20 is going to be about 9 pounds per block. So every increment we move up, every 5% increment is going to be roughly equivalent to about a 9-pound gain onto your bench press. Now, if you look at a one-rep max calculator, every time you add a rep to your top set, it's adding about 5 or 6, sometimes up to 7 pounds to your one-rep max. So roughly at a minimum level, we need about two rep additions for the bench press to push this up 5%. That's going to be a little bit understated, but might as well use that just for the sake of looking at our overall progression. Now, every lift is going to be different. I can't say that adding two reps on your dumbbell bench over time is going to create 100 by 10, but it's going to be pretty close. Certainly lifts like the pec deck, and certainly lifts like the rear delt flies or whatever you're doing for rear delts, it's going to be a little bit more understated. So you might be looking at one rep addition. 
For the sake of this video, I've made everything equal, and we know in the real world not everything is equal. Adding a rep on your bench press or dumbbell bench press is probably more impactful than adding a rep on your pec deck, but who cares? This is just a general example, and it's a reasonable example, so it should help you understand the process. So let's start with the bench press. We have about 135 by 5 as our starting strength, roughly, and we're going to try to increase in 5% increments all the way up to 315 by five. We have established that roughly each 5% jump is going to be about two rep additions. So if we add in an, a rep addition here, we can see this is the amount of muscle mass over here in the yellow box. We can approximately guess that we have added. Let's continue along and say we have added 25% of our strength to the bench press. This equates roughly to 0.375 pounds of muscle mass increase. We're looking at about 30 pounds of natural potential. This is just a general ballpark number. It's a little bit on the low end. You could add 32 pounds of muscle over the course of your life, 35, maybe 36, maybe even a hair more. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to give you about a 90% level of muscle mass increase. Basically, 30 pounds of muscle is going to take you from wherever you're at as a starter to pretty darn close to your natural potential within about 10%. So we have added 25% onto our bench press. We have gained about 0.375 pounds of muscle. If we look at all of our chest exercises and add all of those up to about 25%, let's just take a look at where things shake up. So if we get our overall strength on our chest exercises up to about 25%, you can see we've gained about a pound and a half of muscle. Doesn't seem like much, but it's going to add up quickly. If you take all of these, if you take this progress on chest and you now apply it to your back, you can see you're up to three pounds of muscle. Apply it to your shoulders, up to about four and a half. Apply it to legs, you're up to about six and apply it to arms, you're up to about seven and a half. So basically, you can see 25% of your strength increases leads to about 25% of your natural potential. Now, I'm not claiming that strength is linear and 25% of strength gains is going to give you 25% of your muscle gains. Again, we are simply dumbing things down for the sake of an intelligent discussion and some way of looking at progress that is semi-reasonable. Now you can see moving from 25% of your strength up to 50% of your strength is going to push your muscle mass up to about 15 pounds. And we, when we move it up to 75% of our strength, it's up to 22 and a half or 75% of our muscle gains. And when we have 100%, we've leveled up everything. We are at about 30 pounds or pretty close to our natural potential. Now let's go back just a little bit. Now I want to look at the bench press example again, and we will pretend that every rep addition has about five pounds to your one rep max, roughly. So we will say every 5% block requires two rep additions. How many reps is it going to take you on the bench press to add a pound of muscle? Let's take a look. So we have added six here, and we're at 15%. 8 would be 20%, 10 would be 25, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And we're looking at about 28, I would say roughly 25 to 28 rep additions on the bench press will add a pound of muscle. You can see this is a lot of brutality and a lot of effort over time. Let's say you're taking your bench press from 135 to maybe 265 by five. This could be a five-year journey. It could be a seven-year journey. Let's say it was a five-year journey to get your bench press up from 135 all the way up to 265. During that time, you've added roughly a pound of muscle. And let's say it took five years. You would be adding 0.2 pounds of muscle a year from the bench press progress alone. Now, let's say we continue along and we get up to 315 by 5. Let's say it took you 10 years to get close to your natural potential, which is not unreasonable. I'm not saying you couldn't do it more quickly than that, 
but even getting close to your natural potential is pretty reasonable. If it took you 10 years to get there, you are adding roughly 0.15 pounds of muscle from the bench press alone every single year. We can obviously see, and the big point here is that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time out of one lift just to add a pound and a half of muscle. You move on to the deadlift, it's the same story. We're going to look at 10 years of progress, getting to 100% of your strength. And we add in the military press. And all of a sudden, you're up to about four and a half pounds of muscle. And we'll look at squats, just the major big four exercises. Working them hard over 10 years, getting them to a pretty big strength level. And there you have it, six pounds of muscle. Now, you can see this is very much an oversimplification. I'm not trying to say every exercise is equal. I'm just trying to give you guys a big picture look at things. If we're putting together a reasonable program, which has about four exercises per week, three or four exercises per week per muscle group or major area of focus, being your chest, your back, your shoulders, and your legs, and then we have arms tossed in as a bonus, you're looking at roughly about, I don't know, 16 to 20 exercises per week. This is going to be reasonable programming for someone that's trying to build muscle. So I can't state enough that we're tr not trying to turn every exercise equal. We know that the deadlift isn't equal to the leg curl. We know that the rear delt fly isn't equal to the military press. We're not trying to create a perfect formula, but rather a general understanding of the muscle building process. Now, when we're looking at things like adding 5% strength to your bench press and gaining about 0.75 pounds of muscle to your frame, that is roughly a half ounce of muscle or pretty close to 0.6 ounces of muscle just for reference. Now, I hope this helped to paint a bigger picture for you guys. It's a process that requires you to focus on hard training. And at the end of the day, this process is only going to work efficiently if you are nailing quality lean bulks. The takeaway here is I want you to view your plus ones a little bit differently. Let's view things over the course of adding 70 reps to our bench press or our dumbbell bench and understand that each rep addition in the lane of hard training, when you have the foundation of a good quality lean bulk, is contributing to muscle mass. It's just very, very minimal, and it takes a lot of rep additions over time to build that foundation. To build a big wall, you need a lot of bricks. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.